So measuring yourself and this is really important before you measure anyone else. So you start off with the practitioner and you're going to start having a little bit of talk about an energy channel. So what's an energy channel? It is not a tube through the middle of you that has uh, stuff flowing through it. It is um, a metaphysical connect connectedness between the force of the cosmic force, the 12, and the, the controlling force of the 8. And we did this with an elastic band last time. So the quality of the channel, if you think of the energy channel, your main energy channel of, as containing all of your patterns or the blueprint that you inherited. And so when it's open and resonant, it's not too yang, it's not too yin, it's not too fast, it's not too slow, it's just right at the right state of balance or calibration for your energy body to be working at its most efficient and that means not showing up granny's symptoms and great grandfather's um, emotional state and any of the either epigenetically inherited traits and tendencies that are not useful or don't serve the purpose of energy balancing um, or the thoughts, beliefs, um, the, the, the stuff that goes on in our heads it changes our energy. So your 12 and 8 must be in balance before you can work on anyone else and that's why it's important to be able to measure yourself. So 15.3 is the, so we measure the 12 above the head, we measure the 8 between the thighs or between the feet is kind of base energy center so it doesn't need to be on the body. So we're above the head, below the body and then the 15.3 at the heart center. So the center of the chest Conception vessel 17 for the acupuncturists amongst you. It's the reconnection point of the pericardium or the master of the heart to the wisdom of the energy body.